What's going on guys, Kaivox here and welcome to the very first one of these videos that I did. If you guys came over from New Wands Day, thank you for joining me once again. Um, I do plan on doing these every once in a while when I get an abundance of submissions from you guys and basically this is going to be kind of like a like an overflow video from New Wands Day where I talk about some more of your guys' wands because I had too many and I couldn't fit them all into that video. If you guys have an idea for the name for this video, leave it in the comment section below um, and I'll make sure to pick my favorite one if you guys if you guys have any ideas. If you don't, it's cool. Don't feel... But even if you have a bad idea, I actually want to hear all of your bad ideas. So leave them down below. And also, if you guys want to submit um, your creations to New Wands Day and slash or this video, whatever this is going to be called, um, I'll put the link slash, not actually a link, um, just the email right here. So send an email to that and with your pictures and uh, let me know the story behind your wand, why you created it, if you're a wand maker, if you have a shop. If you guys have a shop and I think your wands are pretty cool, I'll make sure to uh, give you guys a shout out as well. Um, so therefore, let's move on to some wands. Let's talk about some of you guys' wands. All right, so now these wands were all submitted by the same person. Let's see if we have a name here. Let's see what we got. Okay, so here it is. Name, just found it. <laughs> um, Supreme Auror. You're a, little, you're a little cocky, aren't you? You're just being a little uh, brag, braggadacious, braggadocious. I don't know if that's a word. <laughs> here is another person that's making wands that um, looks like they're using clay. They're using some sort of clay for a lot of the creation of it, which is an excellent, excellent medium for making wands because if you don't have the tools to carve or if you're afraid of carving or cutting yourself or something like that, this is an excellent way to make a wand. And in my opinion, it's a lot easier to um, to build something up with clay. It's, it's kind of harder to get that wood look. You know, you can get more of a painted wand look, which a lot of these wands look really cool. Obviously, we have the elder wand in the middle there. People just love the elder wand. Probably one of my favorite wands, by the way. Um, I really like that second one down because I like that tapering that you did there. I don't really like that gem little stone thing that you put at the end, but if you put a different stone there, they'd probably look sharp. I like it. They look really cool. My least favorite one, sorry to tell you, but it's that second one from the bottom, second one up. Um, fifth one down. Don't like that big white shoe that you put at the end of it. Um, if you could explain why it has that and if there's a good reason, then maybe I'll like it more. But um, that second one down, probably my favorite. I really like those little flat pieces of wood that you put there at the end. Um, I don't even know what those are from, but they look cool. And I like the color, that yellow and orange or reddish brownish. Looks really nice. Um, but you could tell. You do, it seems like you do a lot of, a lot of clay work, um, or whatever it is. Let me know down below if you want, if you want to tell me and, and educate me on what it is, let me know down below. If you guys want me to make a, um, alternate making, wand making video where I'm not using wood and maybe I'm just experimenting with something different, like some sort of clay or something like that, or maybe, um, like a lot of people like to make, uh, wands with hot glue, I, I'll, I'll give that a shot and I'll make a video about it making me burning myself or whatever. So uh, let me know down below also if you want me to do that. I think it would be pretty fun and maybe you guys would enjoy it. But I definitely think that whatever way you can make a wand or whatever way you, you can make whatever you wanna make, do it, you know, you just, just give it a shot, why not? Like, what's the worst that can happen? Actually, there's a lot of bad things that can happen. So yeah, just be careful, that's all I'm saying. Also guys, I want to um, get a bunch of pictures of, of all the subscribers, all of you guys. Um, as many of you as many of you guys that want to send your pictures, um, send. I want a picture basically like this. So basically, I want a uh, you know show your whole head and just wands ready like Newt Scamander style and uh, just split your face in half with your wand. It doesn't have to be one of my wands. It doesn't have to be one of your. If you've never made a wand, that's fine. Um, but just any wand, or just go get a stick outside and take a picture like this. What I want to do is I want to make a big picture of everybody um, and put them all together and possibly feature it on a video. Or I definitely want to post it on Instagram and I want to just have like a big cool pictures of a bunch of the subscribers and stuff like that. If you guys are interested in that, send that picture over to newwandsday at gmail.com and. Um, I'll make sure to start working on it. I've already got a few. Obviously, I have my own, my own picture, but um, do that. 
And now we have another submission by Dakota. And what's cool about this one is that they actually have a, um, a big plaque type thing that they made, which is super cool. I always want to make a plaque, but I never know like how I should do it or like what I should make it out of. This looks super simple and super nice. I like the fact that you have just kind of like a nice piece of wood that just has some natural edges on it, which obviously natural edges always look better than just like a square block of wood. Um, if you guys ever want me to make something like that, you know, let me know. I'll definitely do it. I feel like I'm asking you guys to let me know a lot of things. Um, just let me know any one of those things. Feel free to pick one thing that you wanna let me know and let me know down below. How's that sound? I love it. Love the creativity. You, it, what, okay, so check it out. Wand makers, you can always tell if it's the same wand maker making some wands. Like if you guys showed me some wands that were made by different people, but two of them were the same, uh, same person, I would probably be able to tell just because every wand maker almost has like a style. Um, I'm not sure what my style is because I'm making it. So to me, they're all so different, but I'm sure that other people, other wand makers could probably look at my wands and be like, that's probably that, that same guy that made that one. Um, but this one, I could definitely tell it's the same person that made all of these wands. And if you look at that center one, that lighter one um, with that spiral around the handle, that's probably the most impressive part I would say about the, all of these wands is that spiral. Um, that's not easy to do. It looks super simple, but it's not easy to do and it's not easy to get those lines straight and that deep. Um, unless they're painted, which I don't think they are, I think they're actually grooved in um, based on how it looks. And I would say that that's the most difficult thing out of all of these wands would be that one section. Now, if I have to nitpick, which I always have to nitpick apparently, the one thing that I don't like is the fact that the ends are so pointy. I'm just not a big fan of pointy ends at the end. I feel like the ends should be a little bit rounded or flattened a little bit. I know a lot of people complain about the Noble Collection wands because they have these very, very flat ends. But I would say that that makes more sense. If you have a really pointy end, one, you're gonna poke yourself, right? Two, it's gonna be more likely to break the edge, the, the tip of it. If it's a little bit blunt, it's not gonna be so bad. It's gonna have a much, much more rugged, much more ruggedy. If you look at most of my wands, I would say that most of them are, you know, a little angled at the end, but they're never flat. I just, I like the way that they look like this much more than the very, very pointy. So if I had to nitpick, that would be the only thing. Sorry. The next few wands were actually submitted by Merlin, the master wand maker. I almost forgot what your name was, bro. Dang. So let's start off with um, the one that he calls the fidget wand, which, you know, takes the idea from a fidget spinner where you got something to fidget with. Um, and this is super cool. You guys may not be able to tell from the picture, but the that ring around the center of it is actually detached. So it's a technique when you use a lathe, you can actually cut up something so thin that it actually creates a, a nice ring and you have a detached ring that's actually captured inside of there. So you can't take it off unless you were to cut it. Super cool. I thought about making this for a wand, but I just hadn't figured out a way to make it perfect yet, which if you wanna to try to do this before I do, um, I would remake that wand, but I would make try to make it as thin as possible. Not as, as thin, but make it much thinner because I do feel like the that handle is just a big old handle. And uh, that I think would make it look cooler. Try to get that handle as thin as possible so that um so that, that ring just kind of hangs there. Like it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not so tight. So that it's just kind of hanging. So if you had the wand like this, you would have the ring kind of like like all the way down here like this. I think that would be really cool. But the, again, the problem would be you would still have to have those notches at the end so that that ring doesn't fall towards one side or the other side. So there's there's some workarounds, something you would have to do there to make that work, but I think that'd be really cool. The other solution to something like that, to make something like that, is to make the ring um, and then make the wand into two parts, connect them with that ring attached. I think I made, I may end up doing that. So you do the other one and then I'll do it my way and then Whatever one you make, I'll show it off on the uh, on the channel again. All right. And now let's move over to your um, 
Dumbledore wand, the one that's the uh, the new wand from the movie, which is, uh, you did a good job. I don't like the end though. I know, I'm, be I'm being like super picky and I'm being kind of mean, sorry. Again, I always apologize to you guys if, I, if I'm coming off mean, but again, this is like a one-way conversation. I can tell you guys stuff, but you guys can't tell me. To me, it just looks off. I don't know if the very end is supposed to be that smaller piece that goes all the way to the end, or if it's actually supposed to be skinnier like the way you did it. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry because it's really complicated without having the wand in my hand. Excellent wand, looks really good. Um, you just need to get that color and you need to get that like little color gem thing at the end or whatever he has at the end of it. I forgot what it looks like. I don't have the, the picture of the actual wand in front of me right now. So you have an advantage because it's probably on the screen right now as we're speaking to each other. So therefore, Anyway, nice job guys. Everyone did a great job and um, I do have some other ones. So if I missed your wand, I'm sorry, I still have it. I may bring it up. If you guys wanna submit your wands again, I'll put a link again. Again, I always say link. I will put the email on the screen right now. Um, so if you wanna email that, email it to newwandsday at gmail.com and I will make sure to get that. And um, if you already submitted your wand and I didn't talk about it, submit it again if you want. Um, just resend the email again, that's fine. It's not a big deal. I'll, I'll just, it'll just pop up on the top again of my, you guys know how emails work. I don't need to explain it to you. Thank you guys for watching. I don't plan on making these videos every week, the, um, at least the bonus overflow video every week, but I do plan on making them occasionally whenever I have some overflow stuff. Um, but again, New Wednesday every week, so make sure to come back for that. Also, I wanna start doing some different stuff on New Wednesday. Um, so if you guys have any ideas for that, let me know down below. Um, I may start doing, once we get some new, more news stuff coming out for like the new movies and stuff, um, I'll start maybe talking about some of that stuff if I find anything. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, if you guys didn't see New Wednesday yet, go check that out. There'll probably be a link at the end of the video and uh, maybe up there if I remember. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye, bye, bye.